What if the most important AI companies are not the ones that are making headlines, but the ones that are quietly wiring everything together? And what if the real bottleneck in AI is not computing power, but how fast data can move between chips, racks, and servers? And what if one company is sitting right in the middle of that problem, even while the stock is still down big. Well, that company is Marvell Technology. It doesn't build the flashiest processors, but without Marvell, modern AI data centers don't run efficiently. Today, I'm going to answer all of that so we can decide if Marvell is setting itself up for a long term comeback or if this recent bounce is just noise. Now, if you're new to the channel, hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999, and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. Marvell Technology focuses on the less visible but absolutely essential parts of computing. These are the chips that move, connect, and store massive amounts of data. Marvell's products sit underneath modern systems, making sure that information flows efficiently across servers and networks. While co other companies like NVIDIA and AMD design the processors that do all the heavy lifting, Marvell builds the connectivity and data infrastructure that allows those processors to operate at full speed inside data centers. So Marvell doesn't handle the heavy processing. Its role is to move, store, and secure data. The company develops wireless processors, ethernet switches, and storage technologies that keep AI data centers running smoothly. And for everyday users, this shows up as faster apps, smoother streaming, and more responsive cloud services. When a platform feels quick and reliable, well, there's a good chance that Marvell's technology is working quietly in the background. Marvell's portfolio now includes computing engines, high speed connectivity, and customizable chips that function like the nervous system of the data center. These systems move information between servers, trigger system functions, and protect data along the way. Data centers also consume enormous amounts of power, creating both cost and environmental pressure. And Marvell addresses this, or both of this, by designing chips that deliver more performance per watt with each generation, helping customers reduce energy usage. The company also operates sustainability programs that are aligned with global quality, safety, and climate standards. So with that foundation in mind, let's have a look at what's been happening recently with the company. On December 9th, Marvell launched its Golden Cable Initiative. This was aimed at speeding up adoption of active electrical cables in hyperscaler AI data centers. The program provides validated designs, software, and support to shorten deployment timelines. As AI workloads drive denser racks and higher bandwidth needs, this initiative should help partners deliver lower cost and lower power copper connectivity while still meeting hyperscaler performance and reliability standards. Marvell also announced that its Alaska PCIe 6 retimers are being adopted by major AI and data center providers. These chips improve speed, power efficiency, and signal quality between GPUs, CPUs, and storage, allowing large AI systems to scale more reliably across servers and clusters. But headlines aside, let's look at how the numbers look, because it gives you a, a closer look into the business. In the most recent quarter, Marvell reported revenue growth of about 37%, reaching just over $2 billion for the quarter. And the biggest driver was the data center segment, which contributed roughly $1.5 billion in revenue. That accounted for about 73% of total quarterly revenue, just showing 
just how central AI and cloud infrastructure have become to Marvell's business. The results also marked a major turnaround on the bottom line. Look, Marvell moved from a net loss of $676 million to net income of almost $2 billion for the quarter, or $2.20 a share. Gross margin came in around 52%, while cash flow from operations were just over $580 million. Those are some strong numbers, and it singles, signals improving operational leverage as data center demand ramps up. So where does Marvell go from here? Well, it's a question that came up recently in my Discord. So let's walk through the key growth drivers and the risks to the business. And one of the most important growth drivers right now is Marvell's new Package Integrated Voltage Regulator, or PIVR. These systems move power delivery closer to the processors, reducing transmission losses by up to 85%. They support compute platforms above 4 kilowatts and enable denser, more efficient racks with lower total cost of ownership for hyperscalers. And as AI data centers struggle with rising power and thermal demands, Marvell's approach delivers performance gains, energy efficiency, and lower system costs all at the same time. And this just strengthens Marvell's strategic role in AI infrastructure and expands demand for its custom silicon platform. Another major catalyst is Marvell's agreement to acquire Celestial AI. This adds photonic fabric technology for optical interconnects, and it could position Marvell to benefit from the shift from copper to optical links as AI systems scale across racks. As bandwidth needs rise and latency and power efficiency become more critical, optical interconnects grow increasingly important. Management expects this technology to open new semiconductor opportunities and generate up to a billion dollars in annualized revenue by fiscal 2029. Marvell is also expanding its global footprint. While the company is headquartered in California, they recently opened three new offices in Vietnam, making it its third largest R&D hub after the US and India. So Marvell now designs, builds, and tests technology in Vietnam while supporting local universities through scholarships, internships, and training programs. The team in Vietnam already includes more than 500 engineers, which just proves confidence in the region's long-term potential. From an investor's perspective, building complex AI hardware in Vietnam can help control costs and strengthen Marvell's global presence. Moves like this can deepen relationships in high growth markets and create room for future expansion. Still, no growth story comes without risks. Despite strong quarterly results, Marvell's revenue remains highly concentrated among a very small number of customers. In fiscal 2025, two customers, for example, each accounted for more than 10% of net revenue, while the top 10 customers made up 81%. So revenue can swing sharply based on design wins, order timing, customer financial health, consolidation, or even shifts towards competitors or in-house solutions. Because losing even one major customer could materially impact revenue, cash flow, and operating results. Marvell also faces intense competition in the custom AI chip market, Broadcom. They're gaining momentum here, which could limit how much attention Marvell receives, even with recent wins involving companies like Amazon and Microsoft. At the same time, this risk is, exists largely because Marvell is positioning itself at the core of AI infrastructure rather than staying on the sidelines. By moving deeper into critical systems, the company takes on one more complexity, but also opens the door to outsized long-term value if execution can stay solid. So let's have a look at how the stock has been performing. Marvell's currently trading around $85 a share. It's down about 23% year-to-date and 35% over the last 52 weeks. But what stands out here is its shorter-term performance. Over the last three to six months since I've been talking about Marvell, the stock has been up 27%, and that's signaling a potential shift in momentum. So 
is this a real turnaround for Marvell stock, or is it just a short-term bounce? Well, according to a consensus among 35 analysts, Marvell is rated a strong buy with a high target price of $156. That's about 86% upside from current levels. And the rating was upgraded from a moderate buy, and the average score has climbed to 4.43 over the last three months. But can Marvell stock grow five times by 2030? Well, I say it has a real shot if AI data center spending continues to accelerate and Marvell keeps expanding its footprint inside each rack. Data center revenue already drives most sales, margins are already above 50%, and cash flow is strong, and new products increase how much Marvell earns per AI system. Ultimately, I say the upside depends on sustained hyperscaler demand, disciplined execution, and keeping customer concentration risks under control. But what about you? Do you think Marvell has a real on-ramp to massive growth? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because it'll help others find the video, it'll support the channel, and you won't miss out on my next deep dive. Well, that's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.